I think uh, running Southampton today, you, you get quite emotional. It's uh, it's sort of you sort of on a bit of a it's a, a weird treadmill for sort of 10, 12 days, how many days it is, and it's back to back and pretty relentless. And um, I think even just coming into the the final bit, you sort of know that it's finishing, and um, yeah, you're happy it's finished, but also in a weird way, it's it's a, it's a strange feeling that um, you sort of in, you do enjoy it in one way, but to have such a amazing reaction that people have given up their time from a busy day to come down and welcome you is uh, yeah, it's pretty humbling. So yeah, it's uh, pretty emotional but yeah pleased to have finished as well the thing this trip always does for me is brings home the reality of how um, horrible this disease is uh, as, as if we all still remember that but also the fantastic positives that are happening because of the investment into the trials acceleration program into tap so when you when you hear stories from ashley the other day that he's fit and well um, because of a clinical trial that's why we're urging people to try and get to the twenty-five thousand. and uh, people can still get involved in any way you can donate but also if there's companies out there that still want to be able to make a donation that you are going to make a massive difference and ultimately you you have you know you can possibly save people's lives and uh, that's why i'll continue to do this challenge to continue Continue to raise awareness. Great. It's humbling. You, you just you you think that you're just going around and doing a run, but every time that I've finished or, or being sent off from a various uh, centre, like I said, for people to, to take the time out of their busy schedules because they're they're far more important than what they're doing. To have you know the you know, again Alan Dixon up in Glasgow, his personal story. To have Jamal out in Oxford, um, you know, leading from the front as a as a tap clinical lead, but also um, you know Matt, who's running the London Marathon as well next week, is has given up a, a heck of a lot of time to, to, to come and join me on three or four uh, of the runs and and you know, that, that for me is, is a massive boost because there's times when you there's certainly one day when you I wasn't really feeling it and uh, to run along with a couple of other people you, you get swept away and, and you're on. Kirk Gill and the team at Inchcape have been brilliant and uh, I can't thank them enough. To actually again have great turnouts from every dealership that we've been and to have people actually you know put the t-shirt on and, and run that can only help hopefully cement what is already a, a really fantastic partnership.